ますeverybody, Megazard X here, back at it again to give you another very exciting video, and for today, I have another GameCube collection video that I'm here to give to y'all today. Hope everybody's having a fine Thanksgiving week, decided to pre-record some stuff out in advance, and I know it's been a while since I've been able to do one of my um, GameCube collecting um, videos, and here in front of me today, I'm going to be playing Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. This is a game I honestly really wanted to get for the longest time ever. I'm talking about like almost a decade ago. I remember looking through Cerebi and stuff like that. And I was like, oh man, wouldn't it be cool to get this? Because I know that it was in this game where you get able to transfer a shadow version of Lugia after you purify it. And you can transfer it over to your Pokemon Emerald. So I was like, oh, I would just love to have my hands on it. And years later, I finally managed to get my hands on it though. It is for a very nice, pretty penny, I will say, because uh, this is one of those up there kind of games, at least for the Nintendo side of games, for the GameCube, if you're trying to collect for um, for the system, though. So uh, let's go ahead and start this up. Uh, I'll start off playing the story mode, at least from where I left off last time. And then I might jump over to versus mode, because I actually do have... Um, Pokemon Emerald, a, a game that me and my brother shared back in the day, and I had the GBA link cable and all that stuff, so I'll be able to dabble with that stuff as well. So we'll go ahead and continue off from where I'm at right now. I can't honestly remember the last thing I... I thought I was in some kind of cave or something the last time I, I did... Uh, oh, okay, okay. Okay, so I was at this little village over here, though, and I was just progressing through. Because the interesting thing with Shadow Pokemon is you can fight with them, but I think if you have Pokemon that are purified, I think it works, or I guess they actually like to fight for you a little bit better. Okay. Uh, let me pull up my Pokemon. Let me show y'all what I got so far. So, um, do -do 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 -do. so I know in this game, you basically start off with Eevee, which is different. It's not like an actual starter Pokemon or whatever, though. You start off with Eevee, but then, you know, back in the day with this, you have five different evolutions being, you know, Jolteon, Vaporeon, um, Flareon, and then you can also choose Espeon or Umbreon. And I was like, well, I don't know, me and Jolteon, pretty cool back in the day, though. At least when I was playing Fire Red. So I was like, you know what? I'll go with Umbreon. So that's what I decided to evolve it into. Kind of fits the whole dark, you know, shadow Pokemon-ish kind of vibe we got going on in this game. And now I just randomly had the Poochiana and um, Ladybug on me. And then uh, Teddy Ursa. I can't remember. Did I pick? Yeah, these are... The purple ones are shadow Pokemon. And the gray ones are normal. And I think I purified that Teddy Ursa. It'd be nice to have an Ursa ring if I can get it to evolve to that at some point. Okay, whatever. Whoa. Wait. What did she say? Oh, I could walk through there if I want. Alright. Uh, actually, that might be the way I need to go. Because, uh, I guess based on where I was left off at at the story, I think. Oh, shoot. All right. It's battle time. Let's go. And the interesting thing about this game is it kind of prioritizes double battles. So something that was really big in Gen 3 was the introduction of double battles. But they went all out on the double battles up in here. So I, there's a lot more battles that you do double battle than um, single battle up in here. And that's that's the one thing I do like. And interesting th also, another interesting thing is... um. They have, um, what is it, these, like, shadow moves if you're using a shadow Pokemon. And um, it's kind of interesting to be able to kind of use those as well because, you know, they're not traditional moves or whatnot, though. Alright, so it didn't take too much damage. It didn't take too much damage. Let's see here. Dang. Oh, I do have one dark type move with my boy. I don't know why I didn't use this at first. Uh let's use it on Wingle. Yeah. 
then uh, uh da -da 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 -da. hmm we'll use metal claw and warple all right down goes one oh level up that's pretty nice There we go. All right. Hope she doesn't have any more. And I can just keep moving. There we go. All right. So that's the first battle I played and went through and won. So I was like, okay, that, that's pretty good. Now give me that money. Yeah. Okay. So I came to go see Vander. All right. So he's up ahead. All right. I'm just going to keep battling person to person. Ooh, a corefish. All right. And a swablu. Hmm. Fairly even matchup. Sh shouldn't be. Shouldn't be that hard. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see here. Use bite. Uh, we'll use it on the swablu. And we'll use, uh, hmm. We'll use return on the core fish. I doubt it's gonna do that much damage. Oh, shoot. Never mind. Take that back. My boy. Rinse, wash, and repeat do the same exact thing. I'm pretty good so far, not taking too much damage, though, so that's nice. And one thing I do like about this game, at least for me going through and playing through it so far. It's how much more of an like an actual RPG it acts like more than like I guess your standard mainline base. Like standard mainline base is still an RPG or whatever though, but this one kind of feels a little more so about it. I guess in terms of the, the characters that you're talking with and interacting with as you kinda go throughout your journey in this game. Yeah, I came to see you, man. Quit goofing off. Oh, now I gotta fight this dude? What the heck? I just came to talk to the other man, bro. Alright, so we got a, a, a dojo and a spunk. Alright, here we go. see here all right so we're gonna use bite on the splink it's a psychic type and go ahead and use return on the dojo all right oh shoot oh i swept that boy get out of here kind of early my, my Pokemon aren't that high up in levels man but I'm like oh shoot you don't want to step up in this fray man I'll take you out too so the desert there's some more shadow Pokemon all right all right and basically from this map, you can kind of see all of the places that I've been to so far. Over there on the far left side, 
one of those two spots um, was like the original lab that I started off at. Oh shoot! Looks like I gotta go over there. Oh, and I like how whenever you get a um like email, cause th that's how they treat it with mail. It's basically you get email or whatever though. All right, let's see here. Um, hmm. All right, so now Pokeballs are available at Agate Pokemon. I don't have to worry about running out anymore. Good luck, Zora. All right, thank you. Actually, how many Pokeballs do I have at the moment? Bro, I don't have any. Dang. Oh, wait, hold on. Never mind. Oh, I got six. Eh, that's fine so far. Yeah, so I just came off of this area right here. The desert's where I need to go now. And uh, the HQ lab, th that's your home base. That's where you originally start off your game at. And then um, they start off with like a pretty cool epic, you know, Shadow Lugia scene. And that kind of set up the the whole, uh, hey, there's going to be Shadow Pokemon up in this game. And I've uh, been to a few other areas right over here, though. But let's head over to the new one. Man, this place seems pretty abandoned. There's people here? Hmm. Oh, shoot. Might have been a good thing I, I hit. Wait, what the? Are these Power Rangers, bro? Like, like, look at these dudes. Like, what the freak? Except for they got bandana-like scarves, things tied around their necks, bro. I don't know, this reminds me more like Power Rangers or the Gingyu 4. I don't, I don't know. They, they, they just seem weird to me. Oh, it's like they're counting off and... The people are saying one through five down there instead of the original person, but I don't know. I have to fight all these chumps if I do, so help me. Don't wait, what, bro? I'm just trying to. Ah, oh, shoot! They won't let me do it. Well, I guess you could battle any one of them, but if I gotta battle somebody, I'd rather battle the dude with my favorite color. Hope I don't have to battle all of them. Cause if I do, oh shoot! Let's see here. Um, do 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 do. We got a couple of water types, so uh, nothing too hard. I actually kind of like the fact that I chose a dark type because uh, there ain't too many things that are super effective on dark type. Dark types, at least back, you know, back when the time this game released. Because I think like what, um. Bug, I know, is super effective on me. Gosh, what was it? I thought there was one other type of super... Oh, shoot. There's a Shadow Pokemon. Now, with Shadow Pokemon, when you notice um, one gets sent out, you want to um, try capturing it. This is like the only game where it allows you to actually steal a Pokemon from your opponents like that. Because they're Shadow and stuff, and how you need to kind of go out and purify them and stuff. So, But I think you can't throw the Pokeball out until I think you... Until you um, essentially kill all of the other ones. So we're going to go ahead and bite the Horsia. And we'll use that on the spiel. So hopefully it allows me to... Oh shoot, well I guess you can throw it out in advance. I thought you have to wait. I don't know if it's going to work because that dude has quite a bit of health. 
yep, see that right there? So I'm gonna have to weaken weaken him down just a tad bit. I don't want that spiel. Oh, see, like, that's one of them dark moves right there. Oh, shoot. That was super effective. Bro! Oh, my goodness. All right, so what we're going to do... We're going to use sand attack on it so I don't kill it. And then I'm going to use a not very effective move, that being a steel type on, on that spiel, so I can weaken it down just a little bit. Oh, what? It failed, bro. Because I know if I bite this thing, I, I don't think I will one shot necessarily. I could probably bite it and then um, use Teddy Ursa to use some other move. That's what, that's what we'll do this time. I'll tell it these. Well, no, Lick actually does damage. Ah, we'll Lick it. Hopefully, I don't kill it. Oh, shoot. Never mind. No, I need to go all out on this dude. Shoot. That's how much it did? Just a bite? Alright, we'll use it one more time. Then I'll throw the Pokeball. Soon this thing don't kill us. Oh, Teddy Ursa, hang in there, bro. Oh my goodness, it missed, bro. Oh, Teddy Ursa! Ah, uh, time to throw my boy a Puchiana. And I think, oh yeah, and see how those bars are up there on there? The more times you battle and, enter, and you know, use Shadow Pokemon on your team, basically, the more they get maxed out to the point where either you can go to the lab or there's one other location here in this game, at least I've experienced so far, where you're able to purify them at that point. But that's pretty much your goal, is just kind of go through, capture Shadow Pokemon and purify them. Basically makes them a little bit stronger. Uh, let's go ahead and throw the Poke... Yeah, let's go ahead and throw the Pokeball. I think I can catch it at this point. Don't go trying to throw a Pokeball at some regular old Pokemon that's not Shadow. I doubt it will work. There we go. I got it. Alright. Blue Man is done. Oh, shoot. Looks like I got to beat all of them. Wait, no, not all of them. There we go. I just had to beat one of them. Oh, shoot. Went off of him. All right. And I'll leave here. Try to go back to the lab and heal my stuff. And then I'll head back over there to the base. But this will at least allow y'all to have like a look at, you know, what the, I guess the starting area looked like. Because most of it is all basically inside here and whatnot, though. Uh, let's see here. One of these people healed me. Oh, wait, no, never mind. It's the machine over here. Jingle's a little different, but I like it. All right, let's see here. Let me look at my Pokemon now. Starting to get a more stacked team right here. At least, oh yeah, these ones down here, level 17. Oh yeah, hold on here, switch. I might keep rocking the spiel. I'm, I just might. The other three, I don't know, but I'll just have them in my party just in case. And there's Teddy Ursa. Uh, 
Yeah, Teddy Arson needs to level up a little bit more. And I don't think there's anything like experience share up in here, so it's the old traditional grind with this kind of stuff. Like any Pokemon game, you can save anywhere, really. All right, now let's, let's head back over there to the, the other spot. I don't know. It's something about them transitions right there, just driving Scooter out. I don't know. I kind of like it. Alright, now let's sneak behind them and go to the base now. Oh, bruh. I ran all the way over there, and and, and, and there was uh, stuff like that. Well, at least I gave y'all a look at what the home base looked like, though. And uh, I don't have any Pokemon in storage just yet, you know, because I only got like six in my team at the moment. Uh oh, so I guess this is like your evil antagonist team that exists up in um, Gale of Darkness for the most part, I guess. All right, let's go on, bro. Oh, OK, let's see here. I tackle. I don't know what I'm doing. Whew, one shot. Let's go. Hmm, leveled up. Pretty nice. Ooh, so close in and the battle pretty instantaneously. Alrighty. There goes the skitty. Oh my, I'm not supposed to lose to you. Bro, you, you don't know a champion when you, when, when, when you see one. All right, let's see what's up on this next. Oh, I was about to say up on the next floor, but I guess it's an underground base. Uh-oh, he spotted me. Oh, shoot. I gotta fight him off. Oh, a clan pearl. Okay. Alright, let's see here. Decent bit of damage. I'll take it. Oh, Teddy Ursa putting in some work too. I, I see you, boy. I see you. Bro, get your clamp off me. Oh! Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Uh, let's use a little bit of the bite. And uh, I would say lick them, but uh, that's kind of gross. So uh, we'll go with the return. Oh, shoot. This dude has more than two. Oh, man. I was about to say, if that Zubat is a shadow Pokemon, I'm about to say, nope, I don't need you. Seeing you in way too many games at this point. Yeah, 
Now, actually, I can't remember how they treat the, the special and physical moves on this. Because I know in Gen 3, it was based upon a certain move. And Gen 4 was the one where it's actually based on the actual attack move, not basically on type. So, actually, I need to do a little research on that. Because I don't know how they treat that. So, I don't know if it favors me better, at least for my Umbreon, whether or not to use Bite or to use uh, Pursuit. Oh no, wait, get your tail back over here. Oh shoot, he got away. Oh, the door's locked, I need an ID card. Well, gotta go get one. I oh, can't go in that way. Gotta work my way around. Oh shoot, there's a dude right there. Dang, where are these people dropping from? From the deck, um, from like, from the air vents or something? Like, what the heck? Alright, let's see here. Oh, got a tail over there. Alright. All right, so luckily this person only has two Pokemon. Ooh, an opponent that can move faster than me. Okay. I wonder if any of the starters, at least the Kanto, Jota, Hoenn starters, are actually available in this game. I'm not too entirely sure. But it would be nice. And obviously, you know, you know my favorite Pokemon. If, if Charizard was up in this thing, it definitely would be a part of my team. go took down the dojo taylor you're up next oh but i leveled up i think if i'm not mistaken or at least normally i think teddy ursa evolves into ursa ring around level 30 ish if I remember right. Oh, looks like I got an email. Oh, Puchiana can now be purified. Well, that's good. Um even though all right so i think that's probably about as far as i'm gonna probably go at least for the main story because otherwise uh, it's gonna take a lot more talking and a lot more challenging a lot more pokeball battles though but at least this kind of gave you a decent feel of what gale of darkness is but let me leave from here and show you how uh the purifier pokemon that, that's the other kind of main thing there's two main ways but i think i have it one way um accessible i think from doing the whole um I think the Pokemon lab where I originally healed my Pokemon at, I think I can purify them over there now. At least I hope. I don't think the purified chamber is up yet. Okay, yeah, so I think the purified chamber, maybe it gets access at some point. Or you'll be able to easily do it probably in this room. But for now, I hadn't progressed that far in the story to do it. So that is a little bit unfortunate. I wanted to show y'all how it's done. But there's another way how it can be done. And it's a little more <laughs> a pain in the butt. But you essentially go over here to Agate Village. Go kind of deep underneath this cave or whatever. It'll pop out on the opposite side. And then from there, you battle like a whole bunch of people to get over there. At least your original time. And then you can purify them at this spot. So that's one spot. It's a decent kind of walk to get back there.
but then the easier one will be here once I unlock it though so I guess I, I, don't, I don't know I ain't feeling it though so I won't, I won't show that to y'all though but it you know when you're first originally in the game this is where you originally do it at right there though but I think that's going to be about it um for this uh playthrough though but one other thing I wanted to do was uh do a Pokemon battle using one of the teams I have on Emerald. I'm not sure exactly um, which Pokemon are up in there, though, but we're about to find out here soon. Now, I do know for you to be able to do this, you have to have, like, a GBA SP, obviously a copy of any of the Gen 3 games, so Fire Red, Leaf Green, Emerald Ruby, or Sapphire. And then, um... Well, shoot. Do I have to actually go through and reset the game in order to exit? I don't, I don't think... Unless there's like a certain button command to do it or something like that. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so I gotta reset the I gotta reset the I gotta reset the game, so hold on real quick. Alright, so now that I'm back on the main menu screen, I have to reboot the I have to reboot the system in order to get it back over here to the main thing though. But let's go ahead and uh start off this uh versus match with me using the GBA. Let's see here, go to versus mode. Okay, so uh, group battle. Go with the one with the GBA on it. All right, we'll do GameCube versus uh, GBA. I could do GBA versus GBA if I had my other GBA and Fire Red up here, but I don't. So we'll just go with this for now. We'll do a single battle. Um, we'll choose that Coliseum. Anything goes. Uh, max level is 100. Adopt that rule. Go ahead and hit enter. And I think that is A-OK. -okay. Unfortunately, you can't use Shadow Pokemon, at least, um, while you're doing these kind of matches, unfortunately. It would be unfair, I guess, for the person that's playing with a natural game. So, uh, I hope you can use um Umbreon and Teddy Ursa. I know I'm going to get my butt kicked by my own self, but that's the best I can do for now. Alright, and I think the critical thing you have to do with the GBA is make sure that you save at the Pokemon Center um, before you're able to fight. I don't know why it's like that, though. So I have to actually, uh, I have to cut off my game, or cut off my game while it's not connected to GameCube, move over back to the, the, the Pokemon Center. Because originally, I guess my brother last left off at somewhere in the Battle Frontier. I think it was near the Battle Tower or something like that, though. Um, on this copy though. So anyway, I got to move over to the, the Pokemon Center. They've reconnected like how you see up on the screen And it looks like everything's showing up good. All right. Yeah, I see myself see my brother over there So, uh, I think we should be all good to go So I hit okay there and okay there at least on the GBA side when I'm looking down at the screen It's basically just has like the big old Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness um, logo up on there Pretty much and let's go ahead and hit start and get this thing going Alrighty, this is going to be an epic fight, let's see you myself, fight against myself, someone's bound to lose. Alright, let's get it on. Alright, so at least with choosing the Pokemon, if you're playing on the GBA side as I'm looking on it, it looks like the regular Pokemon menu screen that you have when you access your, your team or whatever though. So you can enter in, um, and it basically, you're only able to choose the team that you already have pre-selected in your team before you cut it off so you don't have access to checking your pc on the gba version you have to use what's basically only on your team as for gale of darkness side it might be the same thing i'm not 100 percent sure because i don't have enough pokemon in my my pc on gale of darkness itself so i can't necessarily verify on that but i would imagine it might be the same thing like this where you have to choose only your team pokemon though but uh So I went ahead and chose my six on the GBA side. And on the GameCube side, to keep it secretive, because, you know, the other person can just look off their GBA on the big screen. You got to use the, the D-pad to select. So, all right, there we go. All right, things are going to be intense as I fight my own self. In a life or de death battle for Pokemon. Oh shoot, it's Sceptile. Oh shoot. Oh no, oh no, Mario. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh man, I got my back up against the wall. Oh no. Oh, okay. Well, 
shoot, well, it looks like Sceptile's going ahead and choosing uh, his move right now. Oh, man. I know a Grass-type move is about to be used. Uh, oh, shoot. Why did I throw out my best Pokemon first? You know what? No. No, we ain't doing this. We're, we're throwing in our... No. Oh, shoot. I'm going to die anyway. No. No, you're just going to have to stick it, Umbreon. You're just going to have to stick it to him. Now, the interesting thing is, the bad thing is, if you're playing on the on the GameCube side, on the big screen, unfortunately, all your moves are basically telegraphed to the other opponent. Like, hey, this is all my moves right here. And meanwhile, if you're playing on GBA, it's all on your small screen. So unless they're going to knock you out and tear the screen out of your hand, um, then uh, the GBA player has the favor because they can look at all your moves. And you have to use a C stick to actually choose whichever move you want to use. Oh, shoot. Oh no, he's using. Oh no, I'm dead. I'm dead. Golly, the animations up in this though look pretty cool though too. Dang. I can't ever remember who made Colosseum as well as Gale of Darkness though, but uh, man, they did some good work on this. Uh, I guess I'd throw out Teddy Earth. So use my last hope. All right, w what the heck is this Sceptile gonna do this time though? Ah, uh, man. It's going to be rough. Oh, man. Is he going to use a grass-type move or what? I, I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, think of something. Do something. Uh, just go ahead and use return. Oh, shoot. He's swiping. Oh, my goodness. Bruh, why is he going to... Man, he had the W, man. Why the freak? Why did he do it? Oh, no, now he's just showing off. He's just showing off. I don't like this. I don't like this battle not one bit. What the heck, man? What the heck? All right, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and use... um. Man, I got my back up against the wall. Let me just randomly use Metal Claw. I, 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 know, the, I know the battle is going to end right here, though. So, uh, dang. This absolutely sucks. The frick? He switched again? Uh-uh. Heck no. And this dude's showing off. What the? Oh my gosh, an Agron? Bruh, you just showing me your whole stinking team. This ain't even right. This ain't even right. Like, like this kill me. This ended right now. Just kill me. Oh, now Teddy Earth is getting pumped. He's like, nah, forget you, man. No, you taught me this much. And, uh, dude, uh, uh heck no. No, this is getting ridiculous. This is this is getting redonkulous, as some people like to say. Like, like this this is this is crazy, man. Like, 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 why the heck? Why the heck is this dude torturing us like this? Though? What the? Oh, I'm done. I I'm freaking done. I'm done. I'm done. He's just showing off. He's just showing off against us. He ain't even attacking us no more. He's like, ha, this dude is chip damage to me. Like, what the actual heck? Oh, no. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. You know what? Forget this mess. Forget this mess. Uh-uh, no. No, th this is dumb. It's dumb. Use Fury Swipes. Just use Fury Swipes. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, no! thought you were finally going to use the move to kill me. Now you use a Future Sight to kill me. Oh my gosh. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. What the? Uh uh. No. Oh. Oh, this guy. No. No. Oh my goodness. Now it's only a matter of time before I die. It, 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 this person is just really just showing off against me. Like, like this doesn't make absolutely any sense. Like, what the heck? Oh my goodness! And you pulled it right back out. What the, bro? This is not. This is not Evo. Okay, okay, bro. I, I know I'm fighting against myself, but this is not Evo. This is not how you handle these fights, man. Like, what the actual heck? Oh my goodness. I ought to just throw in the towel. I ought to just throw in the towel. That way he can't have the, the luxury of just beating me like this. Like, like, what the heck is this? Like, what the heck? Oh, now he's finally going to use a move on me. Now he's finally going to use it. Oh my gosh. Dang. I guess he was like, you, you gotta use... Oh my goodness. I hate that trainer. I hate him so much. He didn't have to do all that to me. This is like, oh my goodness. My goodness, if I had a really good team, I'd come back and kick this dude's butt. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was ridiculous. 
That was purely ridiculous. Oh my goodness. I, I'm going to have to shut this off before I pop off against myself. <laughs> but no, in all actuality, though, that that's how essentially uh, how that game or how a Pokemon battle would essentially look like if you're using a GBA um, the, the you know, be compatible with Pokemon Gale of Darkness. You can do it with Fire Red, Leaf Green, Emerald Ruby, or Sapphire. I'm pretty sure the character, um, the way how the character look would basically change depending on which version you're using. Like, I know Emerald, you have like that dude with the white bandana or with the green on it, but I guess that would change to red or something like that you're using Ruby or Sapphire. And then obviously Fire Red and Leaf Green train to red or if you're using Leaf or whatever though. So yeah, so honestly some pretty cool stuff and I actually would like to really do that um, with my brother if I use Emerald and he use Fire Red or vice versa. Um, I think that'd be pretty cool though. But yeah, that's basically going to do it um, for this Pokemon Gale of Darkness um, um, XD um, playthrough, y'all. So, uh, I think this is the fourth game in the series for my GameCube collecting things. I know I did Star Fox Assault. I've done um, Mario Kart Double Dash. And then the third one being Luigi's Mansion. Um, played it for the whole month of October for the lead up to Halloween. And now this is my fourth one for Gale of Darkness. I want to get more of these videos in the pipeline. Um, getting pushed out a little more frequently. I, my GameCube collection has been piling up. And I, I've been meaning to kind of go through and, and have a little bit of footage for each one of those games. Or show it case off on my channel though. So hopefully as we get a little closer to the holiday season. I'll have a little bit more of those videos to have thrown out there on the channel be pushed out in the pipeline though but that's basically going to do it for this video here so if you really like this video make sure to go ahead and hit that like button go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell to stay up to date on all things video game related that i feel like talking about and discussing and just a reminder i am giving away a free copy of ori and the blind forest i will leave that link down in the description box down below of the video for the giveaway rules just follow all the stuff that i say in that um video and you'll be having a chance to enter in so uh yeah so i just want to remind y'all on that. So remember, y'all, until our video I make next, see y'all.